Hi, welcome to SIU. We'll be giving you your virtual campus tour today. And look out for my other fellow tour guides, Riley, Alana, and Ryan here as well. And now I am Britt and I'll start the tour. We normally start over here by undergraduate admissions, which is who will be assisting you on your journey to becoming a Saluki. Now come on, we'll continue the tour. Hi right, guys, so here we are at one of my favorite spots on campus, um, Campus Lake. So behind me you'll see Campus Lake, and then you'll see the residence halls across the way. That's Thompson Point, that is our West Campus residence halls. And that is one of the options for students to live on campus. So the Campus Lake, they'll put a lot of fun events for students. So they'll have a thing called Light Up the Lake, which is the first week whenever students move in. And they have a lot of different stuff out here, like s'mores, a dance floor, just stuff for students to get to know each other. You can also rent out kayaks, you can rent out canoes and actually go on the lake. And there is a 2.2 mile trail that goes all the way around it that you can either run or you can walk on. Um, a lot of really cool scenery. Now we're here in Old Main, the most historic part of SIU's campus, back from back when we were just a small teaching school. Uh, the first building we have over on my side here is Anthony Hall, which houses all of our executive offices, like the chancellor, the vice chancellor, and the provost. After that, we have the Allen Building, which houses our School of Art and Design. The building straight behind me is Shryock Auditorium, uh, which houses all of our large ensembles on campus. And just outside of Shryock, we actually have a concert series that's held all through the summer that's free for everybody that wants to come and attend. After that, we have Altgeld Hall, which houses our School of Music. And it's also a good place for students to get involved in ensembles and just have a place to practice. And now we're to one of the other main areas of campus. So right behind me, we have Morris Library which holds learning support services for students, uh, as well as a writing center, which you can go to to get help on resumes and papers. Now on over, we have the Life Science Buildings, as well as Lindegren Hall, and those hold a lot of the anatomy, physiology, and biology classes on campus. And then Lindegren Hall also holds our physician's assistant program, as well as the first year of our medical school. Now on over again, we have Lawson Hall, and that is our lecture hall building, which is not college specific. It only holds lecture halls, and I can guarantee that you'll have a class in there if you still have to take your general education classes. And then on over again, we have Wren Hall, which holds the College of Business. Our College of Business is in the top 5% in the country, and our accounting program is in the top 1%. So they're doing a lot of really great things over there. If you're a College of Business student, check them out. And then directly in front of me, we have WOM and Pulliam Hall, which together make up the College of Education and Human Services. And then they are connected by an industrial wing that has blacksmithing, glass blowing, and ceramics programs. And we are the only school in the entire country that has blacksmithing, bachelor's, and master's degrees. All right guys, on this part of the tour, we're gonna to be talking about the MassCom building. It's gonna house majors such as cinema and photography, journalism, and theater. But a really cool thing that's in the MassCom building is the Daily Egyptian, where students get to publish some of their works into a newspaper read by people around town and by people on campus. Um, the MassCom building was just awarded a grant too, so for renovations, uh, to revamp some of the programs, and just for a lot of new technological advances, um, that's going to be all in the MassCom building. As you can see, it's a bright and sunny day here on the north end of Old Main. We have our last two buildings, including Woody Hall, which houses Trio Support Services, Veteran Support Services, the Center for Net International Education, and if you're interested in ever studying abroad, the Study Abroad Office is also housed in Woody. We also have Quigley Hall, which houses architecture, fashion design, interior design, and human nutrition and dietetics. Most of these students actually have 24-hour accesses to, to this building to work on their projects, which is very nice. A little short distance down Grand Avenue here, we have the Student Rec Center, which is accessible to all students. We have a rock wall, Olympic-sized swimming pool, and various exercise cl classes that you can take, including much more. We also have the Health Center, which if you're feeling ill, is just a $10 fee at the door. For our last stop on the tour, we're going to take a look here at one of my favorite places on campus, Saluki Row. Saluki Row is home to the Banterra Center, where both our men's and women's team basketball teams play here on campus, as well as Saluki Stadium, which is home to our SIU football team. Students here on campus at SIU have the really awesome ability of being able to attend all the sporting events as included in their student fees. I think the ability to go and see these events and hang out with friends has made this experience really awesome for me as well. Don't just take it from me, take it from somebody who graduated and didn't have enough of SIU, so he came back. Current Saluki Hall of Fame men's basketball coach, Brian Mullins. What's up, future Salukis? This is Brian Mullins, the head men's basketball coach. And I just want to tell you a couple reasons why I had such a great experience as a student athlete here, and now why I love it even more coming back as a coach. SIU is an incredible school, and what makes it so special is this community and the student population and how much they support SIU athletics, the football games, the basketball games, the volleyball games, the baseball games. 
It's a complete community support from top to bottom and what makes it even more special is the dog pound and the student involvement and how much fun it is to go to the games. I'm telling you there's nothing else like it in the Midwest and I hope to see all you guys at future basketball games. Thank you so much for going on the virtual tour of campus with us today. We really hope you enjoyed it. For more information on how you too can become a Slukie, see the information below.